Yo, we're back with another Illustrator tutorial. Today we're going to be designing this pen tool slash eyeball design. It's from my most recent sticker pack, sticker pack three. I'll have that linked in the description if you want to check it out. But for now, let's hop into Illustrator and I'll show you how I made this. All right, so here we have our design. I'm going to drag it over here to the left and we can redesign it over here on the right side. Before we get started though, I want to note that if you look, the eyeball is rotated a little bit to the right and the pen tool is rotated slightly to the left. So when I'm designing the eyeball, we're going to design it so it's straight on, straight up and down. And same thing with the pen tool, it'll be straight up and down. So I'll show you what I mean by that. Starting off with the eyeball, we'll create a perfect circle right here. So hold down option and shift and you can drag it out like that. Now with your eyeball selected, you can command C, command shift V and then option shift, drag it in like this to resize it. And that'll be our blue shape right here. So we can go up to our color palette hit blue. We're going to do that again to make the pupil. So command C, command shift V, and then resize it with shift and option held down. Now we want this one to be black. If we don't want to zoom back out and go over to your color palette, another trick you can use is make sure this fill is selected, not the stroke. So with the fill selected, Hit I on your keyboard to get the eyedropper tool, and then you can hit shift and select the stroke. And that'll select the stroke color. All right, so we have the blue part of the eye and we have the pupil. Now we just have to add these highlights. So let's start with this little sparkle right here. What we can do is just make a big circle right here. It doesn't matter the size yet. We can always resize it later. Go up to effect, distort and transform, and you're gonna do pucker and bloat and then drag it over to the left as much as you want. That looks okay. And I'm going to get rid of the stroke. So it's just like that. Go up to object, expand appearance. And now we can just, with our direct select tool, curve out these edges like this. And then let's make this white like our background, we'll move it over here. It's way too big, so we'll just resize it. Kind of like that. And then move it into position. All right, like that. And then we just have a few circles, so let's go ahead and add those. Nice and easy like this. Looking good. Next, we're gonna add this line right here, this white line, as well as this dark line right here. So I'll show you how I do that. I will double click on this blue shape. We're gonna copy and paste a new one on top of it. So Command C, Command Shift V. And our stroke on this is four points. So we're gonna hit the left arrow key four times. One, two, three, four. We want this stroke to be white, so let's go ahead and select our background with our eyedropper tool. That'll give us the white, and then we can flip it so that the stroke is white instead of the fill, and then we can get rid of the purple fill. Now let's just delete this point right here. So direct select tool, A on your keyboard, select that and delete it. And then what I do is Command C, Command Shift V, a new blue shape on top, and get rid of that fill. So now we have this shape on top. The blue shape is in the back and this white shape is underneath this top stroke. So it's kind of hiding behind there. We can use the draw inside tool. I prefer to do it this way most of the time just because it keeps a little bit cleaner if we're not using a clipping mask. All right, so let's go ahead and copy and paste this white stroke. We're gonna flip it around this way drag it right about there and this one's gonna be darker blue so we'll adjust the color like this and then we just have to make sure this top stroke is still on top so command shift right bracket that'll bring it back to the front and if you see this is poking out a little bit so let's go ahead and fix that just bring it down a little bit same with the bottom and I want the white stroke to be on top of the blue stroke, so we'll do that. 
All right, let's group all of these together. So select them all and hit Command G. We can group these white circles and the sparkle and the pupil all together. So we're gonna move those slightly to the right. Now let's select this group and this group together and we'll drag them both up at the same time like that. All right, next we're gonna make this red portion, basically the eyelid. So using the pen tool, we're gonna start right about here. Go straight across this way. Follow up along the eyeball. And then we're gonna hit this point right here so this little V comes up. That'll get rid of the anchor point. So it'll be a sharp angle this way. We can just curve it out like this. Right back to around there. Again, delete that anchor point. I'm gonna bring it down this way and just basically follow the shape of the eyeball. And we'll do the same thing on this side with a little bump like this. All right, and let's make that red. We can make adjustments, make sure it's perfect. Cool, now in order to make this line not straight, we're gonna curve it out a little bit. We're gonna select the pen tool and then hold down option. And you'll see this little curvature tool pops up next to your arrow. That's gonna allow us to just drag it like this and make a nice little curve like that. And then what I'm gonna do is add one little line right here. This makes it look like it's kind of looping around. Do the same thing on this side. And that looks pretty good. We'll add this little line right here. Kind of just following along this path right here pen tool kind of like that we don't need a fill on that so we can get rid of that and I think that looks pretty good for now we're gonna go in and add these shadows at the end so for now that looks good we can group all of these together command G and let's move on to the pen tool so this one should be pretty easy we're gonna just start with a Nice long rectangle like this, make that yellow. Next we will make a polygon, so we're going to use one, two, three, four, five sided polygon. So you can just click with your polygon tool selected and you can select the sides. So we're going to do five like that. Let's bring these down. this one up could make it a little bit skinnier I think Let's shrink it down and move it into place kind of like this maybe this needs to be a little bit wider yep here we go and and we're gonna bring this one on top. The rectangle should be on top of the polygon. So we're gonna curve out this line right here, just like we did with the eyelid. Option, drag that up. And then we can just drag a second one down this way. Send that all the way behind with Command Shift, left bracket. And then what I'll do is go in and add a point right here and right here and then we can just move these points up to this point right here so if you actually hit command u that'll bring up our smart guides and that'll allow me to just drop it right on there like that cool that looks good let's just make this slightly darker yellow all right and then it looks good we'll just add a circle right here that's gonna be black and then a straight line down from the top. All 
All right, cool. So we can actually just bring this up. This doesn't need to be this long. We're gonna have this top part of the pen be one shape and then the bottom part will be a, its own shape. So we can bring this to right about here. And let's go ahead and add all these shadows and highlights. So the same thing that we did with the eyeball, we're gonna do it up here. So let's double click here on this shape, Command C, Command Shift V, and then we're gonna shift it to the left four points, one, two, three, four, and make it white. So select the background, swap the stroke and the fill, and then get rid of the fill. Go ahead and delete these points over here. And then we can just add a point right about there so that it's not poking out. And then Command Shift V again. We'll add another one on top and get rid of the fill. Now we have this one on top. So now we're gonna add this shadow over here. We're just gonna draw it in manually. So we'll go right in the middle and just follow it along this way. Straight down with shift. And let's make it the same color as this. It's a little bit darker bit of yellow and get rid of the stroke. And then we can just send it back. Command, left bracket, left bracket. So that it's behind the highlight. Group those together, Command G. And there we go. This shadow is a little bit too dark for me so let's actually adjust that. We'll go back to our original yellow and then just drag it to the right a little bit. First time I went down this way, I didn't want to do that. Drag it up this way so it's a little bit nicer looking. And we can adjust this one too, so it's the same like that. All right, now we just have to do the same thing to this shape right here, so we'll do that again. All right, sweet, that looks good. Let's group this one together, Command G. Let's go ahead and drag this entire thing over here. We're gonna send this whole thing behind. So Command Shift, left bracket, and then let's option drag this one down. This one's gonna be on top though. So we'll do Command Shift, right bracket. And we can drag this up so it's not so long. We're gonna add one more thing on the bottom, this little circle right here. So zoom in and hit option and then drag it out so it's the width of the rectangle and then we can make that black so i want to add this oval to this group so let's just select it copy it delete it double click into this group and then command shift v now it's inside that group all right so one more thing we have to add are these two little lines that kind of make it look like it's going into the eyeball. So let's double click on this group again and we'll just add two small lines up on top right here. Now we can go ahead and add the shadow to the eyelid and the shadow to the eyeball and we'll be good to go. Let's just select this shape, Command C to copy it, and then we can delete this. Double click a few times to get into your eyeball, and Command Shift V to paste it. And then we'll Command C, Command Shift V, our big circle, and then get rid of the fill so that we have the stroke on top. Group those together, and there we go. Again, you can definitely use the draw inside tool for this, but I just prefer to have everything outside of a clipping mask so it makes it a little bit easier to edit. Just a personal preference, 
but if you feel like using the draw inside tool, definitely do that. All right, so now let's just go ahead and rotate. We have the eyeball, the eyelid, and these two shapes all separated. So we can just select our eyeball, rotate it this way a little bit. All right, so let's select this shape. We have this background shape too, so let's just drag over everything and then we'll drag over this one. So now we have the entire pen tool and we'll just rotate them like that. We can even shrink this if we want to. So let's shrink it a tiny little bit like that and then just move this down a little just to make it fit better. All right, so now let's just make the sticker, the white part in the background so we can select everything Command C, Command Shift V, and group that together. Now we have the entire design grouped together on top, a duplicate. So we'll object, expand. So now we have this. Go over to your Pathfinder tool and we're gonna hit Unite. So now we have this single shape on top and we can go up to Object, Path, Offset Path, and we can make it about 20, let's say 15. Yeah, 15 looks good. For joins, I like to do round. And then I didn't have to mess with this one at all, so I hit OK. This will give you two separate shapes, the original shape and the offset path. So we can just delete that original one. We have this big one and hit Command Shift, left bracket and then just make that white like that. And there we go. This was a bit of an abstract design. I just wanted to do something different to incorporate the pen tool in my new sticker pack. The pen tool is one of the more popular tools in Illustrator, so I wanted to make sure I got that included. So that's that. If you have any questions, you can leave a comment and I'll do my best to follow up with an answer for you. If you wanna check out any of my sticker packs, sticker pack one, two, or three, you can find that in the description. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Peace.